right. So, uh, how'd you get into morel hunting initially? I grew up, I grew up, and I was raised in Kiev, Ukraine, actually. So, in Europe, it's a, it's a big thing. There was your family involved in it too, or did you just kind of pick it up? Uh, my grandpa took me mushroom hunting, and uh, he used to always say, "Every mushroom's edible, sometimes only once." I saw an ad for a lecture on morels at a local library. And I thought, oh, you know, I don't know about that. And then my dad said, oh, there's some woods. Go, go look over there and see if there's anything in there. Then I walked around, I didn't hear, and then I found it. And my heart started to pound, I don't know why. And then I just went crazy. I started looking for trees, I started hiking in the winter looking for trees, in the spring, and um, I could never have enough. It's been part of my life as a kid. We look for fall mushrooms and spring mushrooms and, you know, pears and all kinds of stuff. And I, I just thought everybody did this. It's really a family tradition because you're relearning all the things that you did as a kid and what your parents did. And, you know, my daughters are 31, 33 years old now, and they just, they remember going mushroom picking. And to think about it, if you could do it like this and at the Morel Fest, on a Friday where they have university, where you can learn what mushrooms are, and I, all I can tell you is, when you used wild mushroom, you are going to wonder why you've ever bought those little white ones in the store in your life, because the flavor explodes. I like to tell people it's not so much the flavor and the experience, it's just the neat thing about you're one step closer to nature, you're one step closer to being what things are similar and more enjoyable. You know, they always say, to give them a fish, he only lives one day. Teach someone how to pick mushrooms, they're gonna live forever because it's the greatest thing.